So let's probably get started. So thank you everybody for joining. Appreciate Vance on uh, taking the time today to introduce the electrical subvertical. So um, over to yourself, Vance on. Thank you. Thank you, Alan, and uh, nice to having you uh, on board. So uh, as Alan was uh, mentioning, so this is just uh, an introduction. So today, uh, you know, we're gonna re really uh, one deep dive into the the product line um, booked some dedicated session for the different product line i will introduce to you so just a brief introduction as you may know the electrical subvertical uh, basically is um, you know uh, handling four product lines so it's within the industrial business so you know that t is strongly uh, involved in the electronic and providing components for the industrial market through the electronic channel and uh, having the electrical activity through Entrelec was uh, a unique opportunity for T to be more in a better position to speak to electrical uh, channel and to be able to provide uh, products globally we'll see for you know electrical business industrial electrical business so to do that we have uh, I would say three historical ranges starting from Entrelec Thermoblox, which was acquired about three years ago now. Thermolon and Splice, which is also an historic line uh, known also from the AMP, AMP, uh, US company that was, uh, you know, integrated into the group. Uh, I think it was roughly maybe 20 years ago, I think, something like that. And uh, identification, historical, uh, you know, uh, activity that is also uh, a pillar for that. So you see with those three activities, uh, globally, I think we are uh, we have more than 100 years experience. So we are really um, those three range are issued from specialist portfolio, and this is uh, what we oh, actually push to our customers today. And EWS is the newborn uh, since about uh, more than one year now. You will see that we are in um, let's say a movement to uh, actually push even more onto the electrical channel. And uh, this is what we are doing through this, what they call EWS project, electrical wholesaler project. So just to give you some uh, vision uh, from uh, the subvertical, the idea there is to be the premier provider of connect connections, labeling and safety solution for industrial electrical systems. So the idea there through our subvertical is to push the idea that we are, as I introduced to you before, a, a specialist in connection let's say wiring all together, labeling, and in the future also, because we have this already in our portfolio, but safety solutions, one axis of development. So you have the three pillar here, the ergonomic, uh, we are pushing the ergonomics in connection for Entrelec thermal blocks. Uh, we are identifying and labeling efficiently the equipments within electrical components, electrical cabinets. And we have also performance wire termination and cable management solution uh, for the customers. And we do provide also safety solutions to the markets. So, you know, just a, a little bit of very quickly uh, history on, uh, on our strength of our uh, subvertical through our various activities of product families, you, how we could name them. Uh, we are pioneer in different solutions. So the, the first one is solderless wire connection with the crimping solution because uh, through the EMP, uh, T was one of in the 1940s to introduce instead of uh, solder terminals, the crimping, which was uh, some kind of a revolution and time saving and quality in terms of connection for the wire terminations. Heat shrink printable tubing is also an innovation from our identification portfolio because we are the first one to introduce that. So basically, it's a you know a tube that you actually uh, shrink on the cable and that is also printable, uh, which is uh, also the novelty for that because we you can find uh, some retractable heat shrink tubing on the market from from the past, but the, this one is printable. So you use them to isolate and also to in some cases to isolate and also to make the identification of the of the wires and uh, idc connection from Entrelec portfolio we are also a pioneer to introduce this on the market and we still have some products we provide for example for railway application today there is less development in this but um, you know it's good to mention where we come from and uh, what we have and then we have also ct uh, current transformers and voltage transformer 
safe testing device. It's um, you know products were not really thermal blocks. It's issued from the Antrelec portfolio. But uh, same thing, very successful in the market since uh, 40 years now. We have a great experience in providing these equipments mainly to switch gear manufacturers, for example. What we push through Antrelec, through uh, also the uh, terminal and splices range, we uh, are specialists of connection. So the same way T is providing is, is a worldwide specialist in connection. We are specialists of connections within the electrical panels. So starting from uh, what we call the standard technologies for tunnel blocks, screw clamp, spring, pushing pluggable. That's something we'll develop a little bit more in our deep dive on, on tunnel blocks. We have also dedicated technology for some market or application like spring loaded, fasten, IDC that I just mentioned. And we have also this specialty in crimping technology, which is in association with the T tooling. We provide a solution to the market for termination of wire with a very efficient high level of quality. Identification also, we are a specialist, as I told you. So we actually uh, have a full control from the raw material to the finished item. So this is one specificity which we do have a control of uh, our uh, substrate, uh, you know, the, the material we use and for sure to the finished item. So we have also product specialists. That's why I was mentioning we have, uh, you know, focus application engineers, for example, and they are the one that, uh, you know, eventually will speak to the customer, refine their request. And then after we are mastering the printer solution because it's very important to uh, have a good association between the, let's say, the, the plastic layer and then the type of printing, type of ribbon, type of ink. And all this is given into this package when we're talking about identification. Our engineering expertise, so I, I put this slide because I think it's interesting to talk about our uh, our roots, how we work. So basically, we are we are born from uh, let's say mechanical and electrical engineering. We are maybe more mechanical people because we do manufacture. We are doing you know moldings, for example, for tunnel blocks. We have the whole knowledge to uh, create, and we are the owners of our own molds for creating and molding uh, tunnel blocks. And we have for sure the innovation and experience to be able to develop that range and have, make adaptation to the uh, existing markets and uh, requests from customers. But we have electrical products, so we need to have also possibilities to develop uh, electrical solutions. So you see here, we in the molding, we have uh, roughly 2000 molds uh, only for thermal blocks uh, itself that we do master and uh, we are using some at my factory here in Lyon where we do more the high runners there and uh, assembling them all together. And we have uh, testing facilities, so different testing facilities that we show you. So we have laboratories in different locations to be able to provide industrial product. So as I mentioned, we have laboratory uh, which are able to perform all kind of tests, metrology, uh, heating, mechanical tests, fire and smoke. So, you know, when we do, uh, we have the ability to make also uh, directly UL uh, approval. So this means that we have a full control of our test and we just have an interface with UL, which is making the, the final certification. So it's really a recognition of our laboratory experience to be able to provide uh, in the shortest period of time, the products that we want to put on the market. So briefly, the applications for our products is very broad, even though, uh, you know, I would say that the industrial and electrical application is uh, one of the big chunk today, and this is where we push a lot. But for example, if we take uh, aerospace and defense identification, and terminal and splices have a very broad experience to provide to those markets. Terminal and splice in the US uh, mainly, uh, they have all, uh, a lot of them have uh, mill spec and uh, being able to provide uh, products for those applications. Uh, rail is uh, a very strong, because we have a long experience, especially entrevector blocks and also identification to provide dedicated products to the market, especially like, for example, each ring tubing is used a lot for railway. On tractor blocks, we have a complete dedicated range for railway and uh, one of, uh, I, I would qualify the, the broadest that you can find on the market. 
We have a lot of technologies now, screwless, IDC, as I'm mentioning. So uh, we have been covering this market for more than 50 years now. Marine is a more smaller market, but uh, application, but we have, you know, approval, dedicated approval for that, term blocks for a special vibration coring test to be done for that. And automotive, not for thermal blocks, but more for uh, identification and thermal and splice. I would say thermal and splice, where uh, you have uh, fast and connections, which are used uh, typically in the automotive industry. But I would say if you take industrial, electrical, rail and marine, uh, this is where we have a big of uh, activity. So now I, I will give you a, you know, a global overview. So just give you a key to understand what we're trying to achieve. So uh, you've seen we're providing products for different markets, uh, aeronautical, uh, industrial market, railway, whatever. But one of our big targets is uh, what they call the electrical cabinets or so the panel builders, the so one who are building electrical cabinets to control different equipments into the field. And we are trying to pass a message where we, will, we call it follow the wire. So basically what we tell to our customer, the story we want to tell is that anytime you have wires running into an electrical cabinet, a box, an electrical box, then you have a chance to have one of our product called Subvertical. And if you follow the wire from the one end to the other end, you will find on your path a lot of our products, starting from thermal blocks on the left and terminals to be able to make the termination of wire and connect on all the equipments, electrical equipments from automation to power connections. Then we have also uh, the ability to have uh, tools. Uh, we have, uh, for example, the printing tools. We have the software tool that helps to not only providing products, but providing services. We call them value-added services. And our purpose, you see on the bottom, is to pro provide power and signal uh, distribution, protection and insulation of equipment, identification and layout with the software, and to provide also, uh, you know, workspace and design tools. So all together, and then uh, you will see on the right, we have also what we call the cable management solution that allow to be able to tie the block together to, to identify a bunch of cables and making determinations. So a lot of solutions provided through uh, both. So if we look now terminal and splices, so you see these little terminations. So as I mentioned before, we have a very long history within T about those products. And um, so th these products are really, uh, you see the footprint here is uh, actually mainly on, uh, on the US because it's historically based in the US, the production. So we have production in US and Mexico. We have test, uh, test lab also in, uh, in, in the US, as I mentioned, more precisely, the target industry for those is industrial automation for sure, aerospace, EV charging, machinery, and there are some development in uh, new development in uh, electrification, electrification of network, data centers. And you, you see these components are very small, seems very simple, but in fact, if they don't do the job, then do your whole installation not functioning the right way, and you will have consequence uh, in terms of finance. So that's why at this level, even if you have very high tech equipment, down to the bottom and installation, the connection has to do the job. And that's true for thermal blocks also. That's what we tell to our customer. That's the story. You, know, you need experience. So the, the product seemingly seems to be very simple, but in fact, there's a lot of knowledge behind to be able to achieve quality in, in connections. The brand for TNS is mainly drove uh, by three main uh, lines, solid strand, pitch, and plastic grip. We have plenty of version also behind, depending on the temperatures, the application, but I would say with those four free range, you have already what you sell on market. Solid strand is more non-isolated uh, terminals. Pitch is more a high-end, terminal, vibration proof, and plastic grip is more for the standard industrial market. We have ferrules and splices, so ferrules are more to, you know, the cable hand to be able to crimp on the cable and uh, have a, a better comfort of connection. We have also some cable management accessories, and as a conjunction, we have application tooling. So this is not belong to our sub-vertical, it's another 
activity, which is the tooling. And but we are using this tool in conjunction with terminal splices and both allowed to provide a very high solution because they are certified tools. So our clamps are certified with uh, the right tools. And that's why we built our experience and uh, know, know how on the market. So this is an overview of uh, just to give you how the classification. So you have the different markets here uh, or channels. And basically we have three if we split our ranges in, into three different chunks. We have the low end uh, market with, uh, let's say, uh, what you call a budget price. So this means our budget uh, so the solution. So budget is the name of, of those uh, terminals. So basically, they are very rough, non-isolated terminals, which is the base of what we use for making um, our other products. And then as soon as you equip with insulators, with extra barrels, these kind of things, then we are ramping up into different performances. So the mid-range that we have are the, the plastic grip, different solution, fast on solution, amp power, which are terminal spaces for the, the power applications. And then we also provide solutions. So on power, we have few products that we can consider as high-end also. And then uh, pigeon solid strengths, which are really dedicated solution, high performances, when you have a difficult environment, mill spec, vibration, temperatures, all these kind of harsh environments altogether. Oh, this is a quick view, uh, just I was telling you that uh, all together, you know, three of us have a very long experience. So, you know, Mr. Um, you know, Whittaker, uh, you know, in the 1940s has created this crimping because before the connections were all soldered in the past and that was really a big revolution. And there are developments through the year with, uh, so this trend you see 1946, so it's not, uh, you know, it's a long time that uh, the solution exists. They have been uh, improved at one point, uh, adapt to the market. But, uh, you know, there is really a, a large expense of billions of connections being sold on the market since uh, all those years. So once again, that's an overview. I don't want the detail because I think we'll do it in the future, but just to give you a, a few ideas. So Solis Trend, as I mentioned, is non-isolated. So we call it our brand because you will find a lot of thermal and splices uh, solution on, on TS website, for example. But a lot of them are what you call open barrels. So this means that here uh, they are actually used by the automotive industry. Uh, and uh, the barrel is where you actually put the wire. So the open barrel is more adapted to serial, um, you know, crimping with uh, automatic machine, very high volume. And it's not really what, what is being used and it's used in connectors, this kind of thing. So it's not being used to our market. Our market is what we call a closed barrel. So you see it's a you know, tube and, and you insert the wire into it and you will crimp and to, to obtain the connections. And this is where our market is there. And we have to use crimping tool, but more manual tool that electrician will do directly on site, even though you, you might have some few uh, automatic applications. So, so this trend, you go, it can go up to 600 MCM. So MCM is a American uh, wire gauge uh, system. So it's, it's quite large, but 400 millimeters square. The pitch, small section, so it's more for control connection, but you have different solution we offer here, uh, different technologies like a fork, uh, the standard, uh, you know, ring terminal, we call it splices to make the prolongation of different cables. So here we have a lot of variance, a lot of approval, and a lot of performances altogether. Stratotherm is a smaller range, really dedicated when you have, a, let's say, a hoven, a very high temperatures or corrosion problems uh, in military space. So you see, it can go up to 600, kilo, uh, 600 uh, degrees. So they are used in very tough environments. Wire insulation ferrules. So these ones are more standard. Uh, things you can find on market. So the idea is to be able to terminate the wire. You crimp on it. You have a, uh, all the strands are attached together, and it's easier for the comfort of the electricians. Plastic grip, same thing. A lot of offerings. So you, if you look at pitch, well, I put the same picture because the products are uh, roughly very close. Uh, they go uh, up to 50 millimeters square. Different coding and same thing. Different type of connections, paid, 
uh, full work, ring luck, this kind, and this is more to serve industrial markets. Empower is uh, uh, one uh, important for power applications. So you see they are much bigger lug and they go up to 500 millimeters square, very large size. So mainly they are to terminate power cables here. Thermal blocks, it's a Antrolec thermal blocks. So same thing you see here, uh, same board. So we have different factories here. The one in France where I'm talking today, we have our factory at Poland, I was uh, mentioning, in Le Borg, and we have also production in India and uh, small production in China, and a few thermal blocks, May, many is in India now, I think, uh, there are some changes. And uh, we have a lab here where we do our uh, approval test in, uh, in Lyon, and we do serve all the industrial market altogether. So industrial automation, railway, warehouse automation, public lighting eventually in a small extent, machinery, and we have a development to our uh, power distribution capacity, as I was mentioning, digital switch gear with SLEC test safe uh, test products. So we are actually providing more and more solution for uh, our market that develop for our products. So our product line, we have thermal blocks from automation to power, power distribution block, and we have test module and empty modules. So test modules for switch gear and empty modules, which are boxes that give the possibility to the users to integrate a uh, component into it. And then services, design software to be able to provide, and we have the factory in Poland that can assemble. So we give the tool to design the rail assemblies and we can pr also produce for the customers. So here are just a, you know, a few figures. Uh, so for production side, we have roughly 8,000 products at the, in the portfolio, so very large number of, uh, of terminals, but I will give you some key to, to be able to identify. The, you will see that with few criteria, you can select uh, you know, quite easily thermal box. Uh, we have been, yeah, that, that was just to give you an idea, uh, sending a thermal box every five seconds, a uh, lot of activities in the different countries, and we, we produce roughly more than 100 million pieces every year uh, into our business. And we are number one brand into Mediterranean regions. So we have a 50, more than 50 years of experience now on the market. Antrodec is born in 1950s, 60s. Uh, usually uh, before it was Alstom, uh, property of Alstom. And then after uh, there was a development of the needs for electrical connections. So in 1978, we got our first SNA series, which is still sold on the market actually. And uh, we have developed different technologies along the, the years. And then there was an integration in 2002 within ABB. And then we started to develop a new product range. We call it SNK. So starting from 2009, we have developed a new generation of thermal blocks, more adapted to the market. Power distribution, very successful range. And uh, we are keeping developing solution, uh, connected solution. For example, uh, we made a test with some customers in 2019. So we are keeping developing products. So just a quick view on, on that. So power distributions, we call them also power splitters. So there are many here to bring, uh, to split the power that comes from the main and uh, so mostly three phase systems as you can see brown yellow and red and then you're going to split in small to all the circuits that will uh, need the, the supply usually you have breakers behind i will show you that into the applications and this is where we use it so you see big amperage 80 to 400 amps uh, that's what we have thermo blocks this is where the, the big chunk of what we sell and you see the cover from control to power applications and they so you can do signal and distribution protection with the different fu functions that can be used for, for that. And then power products, you see big thermal blocks that can go up to 300 millimeters square. So many they are used to either at the main entrance when uh, to connect uh, power or uh, on the power output, typically, for example, to connect high power motors. We have also solution with different uh, pluggable solution for switch gear because we, are, we have a good experience in energy markets and we have dedicated product like dedicated thermal blocks for the control part, test thermal blocks or test blocks which are there to safely test current transformers and voltage transformers on energy distribution systems.
Okay, so value-added services. So this is the, I told you, the, the software that we, we do provide. So uh, that's something when you, you're going to talk about a product line, especially Tango Blocks, small customers, but that doesn't mean that they don't need that. So this offering is, is more targeted to OEMs, but as soon as you have panel builders who have repetitive uh, business, so they, they have a model, uh, for example, so typically we take a train for an OEM. So he's defining a design and he his purpose is to optimize all the operations. So instead of why, uh, buying the blocks one-to-one, putting the markers, wiring them, what they will do, they will ask or they will define a drawing. So that's why we give them with the software the possibility to do it or we can do it for them. We define a very precise, detailed drawing with all the drilling information, the marking, all the necessary extra components because we can eventually mount extra components or other T products because sometimes the issue of a relay, even if it's not our sub vertical, we could integrate some external product. We have a specialist or specialist in house which do verify that everything is conform and uh, there is no missing part like an isolator or whatever. And once it has been signed by the customer, then we can go for production. We have a flexible production, so we have either we can supply everything mounted on the rail, but we have done in the past, past also some kits. So if customers wants to buy kits which are not on the rail, but they want all the product grouped together in a box so that they just have to take take them away from the box and install, that's also possible. And for sure, we are doing the marking. Everything is managed in-house and quality controlled. So this means when a customer is buying it, it's sure, fine. Yeah, he's under our quality control and then he can install them directly. So it's they are saving a lot of steps by doing this. So primary OEMs, lift industry, railway, switch gear, they are doing this, but sometimes maybe small panel builders could uh, could be able to do that. So here are a few examples. So you see about the, the design of uh, software, but on the bottom, you can see some solutions. So on the left here in the blue package, it's a small uh, red assembly into a mousse, a special, uh, special package. This one was maintained. There was no rail, but it was maintained by a rubber. This one is a rail, uh, railway assembly. This one was in a box, ready to be mounted, and here you see integration of other equipments, which are not uh, from our parts, but we have the possibility to, to assemble them. And to do that, so as I mentioned, is every designer free of charge software. So we have a license, we give a license to the customer, we can do eventually training. And uh, the idea is to be able to assemble in 2D and then eventually also to have a view in 3D when they on when when they use 3D in their systems, we can export a 3D elements. So it helps to simplify all the steps. So because some you know what we had before, the customer had to draw something by hand on Excel file. It was always missing an information. The good thing is that the, the software is is not a for the purpose of experts. So normally there is a lot of assistance into it. So once you know it all a bit, you are able to do it by yourself. And the good thing is that the, the customer send you this file and everything is already complete. Eventually the expert can do some adjustments uh, because if the customer has forgot some important accessories, finalize it, sign it, and then you can go to production. Okay, identification. So identification, uh, is uh, you see you have very uh, some important lines. So the first one is the printable tubing, and we have a big part of printable, pre-printed custom labels that we do provide in the market. Very different type of support, vinyl, uh, you know, thick um, support, different glue to be able to do that on non nice surface. So a lot of technical aspects we can supply here. We have also, since Entrelec was integrated, thermoblock markers. Uh, so identification has taken the responsibility to mark uh, the different solution that we installed on thermoblocks. And we have all the marking system with the software and the printing machine all together. So you see, we have a lot of uh, footprint. So we are producing in US, France, uh, Germany, Poland, uh, Czech Republic. So this is where we have uh, different, uh, different sites.
Target industry, I, I won't come back, but you know, uh, typically our space was one of the big, uh, big player here. Now, newly, we have data center, PCB, so this is our developing activities that we have here. And uh, we are moving to solution to, um, you know, uh, there is more and more densification, so that's why our solution are even more important into, into those markets. I'll go fast, but just to tell you that uh, global identification suppliers since 1940. So you see here, once again, a very long history to provide solution. Uh, known as before uh, Rekem, Critchley and Idento. So these are all uh, brand or experience that, that are now integrated into the connectivity, but they are still sometimes known uh, under these uh, names. So we have all this experience on these activities that we integrated. So. They check, as I said, printable tubing, so either in a ladder format uh, or in a continuous tubing. So the advantage of continuous is that you can uh, have the, the length you want. So different type of material depending on the environment, and you can print directly uh, on those, and after you can shrink directly on the cable. This is what you see here, actually, at the introduction. I show you quickly. Here uh, are basically, you know, heat shrink tubing. Uh, which uh, have been in place. So this is before shrinking, I think. And uh, just they stay in place and they are very durable. Printable tags and cable markers. There are plenty of equipments that needs identification, especially the cable within cabinets. So you see on thermal blocks, you have the identification of the wires, individual, but also the cables with cable tags that can be installed on the wires. Thermal blocks need insulation, so we have solution to be able to identify the thermal blocks, plastic markers, what they call. And uh, here, same thing, we provide the printers and the markers that goes on our thermal blocks. Printable labels here, as I said, a lot of different solution, panel identification uh, that can replace engraving plates. A lot of different vinyl, different tags, polypropylene labels that can be used on different equipments to identify various equipments. And then pre-printed labels is something we developed recently with some booklets where we provide a customer with a lot of this warning sign, electrical sign that needs to be put on equipments in the labs, in the production on robot arms. And we do provide solution to um, to be able to identify the dangerous area. We can do custom, like this one is a custom one, so we can eventually do it if we want. And the custom labels are required on the spec for customers, so everything is possible there. You see this one is on, the, I think, a pump, so you have some time oil. Uh, you are outside, uh, you have very different type of uh, surface also to, to stick on metal, rug surface, uh, wood, whatever. So each time we will be able to provide the solution for our customers. The printer, so as mentioned before, the, the, the key for the good quality is the, the, the right surface, the right material, so vinyl, whatever, and the ribbon. And the ribbon has different inks, so we have a complete offer of ribbon depending on the type of results we want to achieve. So if you're in mid-spec, you will be able to use one ribbon. If you are in a harsh environment, another ribbon. If you're in a standard industrial environment, you will use the proper one. So this is actually the strength of the offering we provide for our printers. Uh, and we have also more standard solution that I guess you maybe you know from uh, electrical solutions. So pre-printed markers. So these are little rings that you slide on the marker. So it's a non-expensive but time-consuming operation. So sometimes when they have high volume, people will go more for printing solution on markers, dedicated markers. But if they want to identify quickly and uh, with a non-expensive, they just buy this wand with all different numbers and just slide on the on the cable and make the identification that, uh, that they require. Okay, and lastly, I just want to make uh, a point on this new initiative. So I would say this fourth family, which is what we call, uh, you see that we have a, a dedicated logo for it, that is uh, Entrelec Electrical Solution by T Connectivity. So this logo is, let's say, the umbrella within where we'll group most of the products that we are dedicating to the control uh, application business, control panel applications. So 
We do provide a solution for electrical cabinets. So we are talking to control uh, to panel builders here. And we have initiated since now more than one year uh, the communication and also the extension of the portfolio uh, that we can provide. So we have connection solution with Entrelec products I introduced before. We have identification and labeling solutions and cable and wire management. So most products, for example, if I take the number 10 here, which is a terminal, terminal and splices, those terminals were sold for many years on the electrical uh, electronic market. Electrical uh, distributors are more local and they buy in small packaging. So what we, the exercise that we do through Entrelec Electrical Solution is to take T products repackaging them in smaller quantity, changing the part numbers. So you have two same product, two part numbers, not ideal, but this is the way we can achieve both. And we provide them, for example, this one will be provided in 100 package, for example, and the same thing for, for all of them. And we are doing this either with T products, which are used being uh, in our portfolio. So either from the electrical sub vertical, but for example, system, recently has introduced M8, M12 connectors. So they are selling this to the electric market and now they created some part numbers dedicated for electrical business. We are introducing new products like uh, wiring duct. So I just put you have hyperlink here. Eventually this give you um, a, a link to the website where we have regroup all these products. I'm working also to, to uh, actually classify them uh, even better on t.com. Uh, you, you see, this one is another view of the, the first one I gave you, uh, follow the wire, but with all the products, uh, so basically you can click on it on the web uh, web page, and most of them are linked, this one not because it was new, but um, we have, uh, you know, you have a view of what we can propose uh, to EWS. If, I, if this is another view, what is available, so we have all the introduct blocks, uh, empty modules, you have the marking system dedicated to turn blocks, we have uh, vinyl turn on splices, IDC connectors for uh, lighting, for example, uh, small pushing connectors for the building industry, marking for internal of the cabinets, nylon splice for general application, uh, now this one, uh, harsh environment, Compact power blocks recently released, cable glands. So these are the new products we release this year. Uh, compact power blocks for power applications that are complementary to uh, those range. Cable glands, M8, M12, and maybe in the future also uh, relays. Just wanted to show you uh, what we serve with electrical, when we're talking about electrical distributors. Basically, uh, these are the markets we can serve, individual houses, apartment buildings, so big, uh, let's say, big commercial building. We have the factory automation, industrial application altogether, and electrical grid and uh, railway. So this is where we, uh, we, can, uh, we can serve and we can talk to, from the small electrician to big OEMs, to uh, all those markets. This is where we, uh, so it can give you some ideas of what, to talk to uh, and here also which product line you can serve depending on the market. So individual houses is more simple products. So this is where less a target. Uh, really our big targets are factory automation. So all the industrial world, uh, electrical management, new energy, renewable energy railway. And then in the second extent, we have the apartment buildings. Okay, so there are uh, dynamic uh, markets uh, and that's uh, interesting to, to talk to. And just to finalize, so here basically the promotion tool that we do offer, eventually when we'll do a deep dive I will send you some dedicated links. So T.com now most of our products on the focus range are promoted so this means that you have accessible all the high quality data that you can get from T website, we are used to. Uh, product samples, uh, 3D drawings, uh, technical data sheet. We are also linking our catalogs. So we have full catalogs there. So either master catalogs, but also dedicated catalogs that we can offer for bands. So nothing really special there. Uh, but we are also very important. I will show you a few examples. We have what they call selection guide or condensed catalogs. So these catalogs, we try to regroup 
on, on one page a, a complete product line, like for example SNK. So it's very efficient. We have few also guides and white paper, mainly on thermal and splice and identification. And then uh, we'll show you, we have a promotional video that can help you to train yourself and also for customers to present, so SNK, DBL. Uh, we have some viral uh, videos we did in the past to be used for campaign. And, uh, and a YouTube channel where we put uh, those videos eventually if you want to retrieve because they are not all on t.com. Okay, so this is the, the end of, uh, of the sessions. Thanks for your attention.